now. Shit. Fuck. Welcome back to another episode. Got the boat unloaded and uh, we're up here camping in the Kawatha Lakes. We're actually, uh, I'm not gonna give you the name of the lake because we've been having some issues lately with people coming in and finding our spots. Um, they're open and available to everybody, of course, but we don't wanna advertise it because we wanna camp up here throughout the summer. So I'll take you on a quick tour here. So there's tent number one. That's where young Owen is sleeping. And uh, I'm gonna be sleeping over here. In tent two, I got a slightly larger tent. And right over here is our kitchen set up. Got a stove with a propane tank and a cooler full of food. Basically, we got everything we need here um, to last us four days. And here's our fire pit. And a couple of chairs, obviously, so we're comfortable tonight. There you go. This is what we see when we get up in the morning. officially bath time. We found this little spot a while back and uh, I'll take you down, give you a quick peek here. It's actually a dam between two of the islands here and we've walked down from one end of the island here to our, from our end to this end and uh, you've got this, this short little dam, a oh, little break there, it runs between the two islands here. Pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And there's the uh, there's our bathtub. We call it the uh, the hot tub. And this is the view right here. And right there is the hot tub. So what it was years ago when they built this, I think it was in about the late 40s, early 50s. They built all these dams and flooded this area, creating the Kawaka Lakes. And when they were building these dams. Apparently, according to a little sign we saw, the uh, workers built this out of rocks. And I guess people have been obviously building it back up over the years. And this is where the uh, workers building these dams here were made out of concrete. But the thing is, there's no uh, road access in here. So, by all accounts, they built this so that they could bathe at the end of a hard, sweaty day when we built these things. We're going in for a, for a dip and a quick wash. If I go in quick, I'm going to hit the bottom. It's so bad. Yeah. Woo! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, it's actually warm, eh? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. The day at the spa. Beautiful, man. Oh, look at the... When you're down this low, you see the, uh, you don't see the concrete, it's like an infinity pool, right? <laughs> and then you just got that tree with all the plants growing on it, right there. Oh, no. so it is like a hot tub, it's really warm in here, and uh, I'm surprised. It's flowing water, but it, it's coming off the main lake, so it's pretty warm. The water temperature on the uh, actual lake itself, surface temperature today was 80 degrees, so it's probably pretty close to that in here too, so not too shabby. Ok, 
Okay, so dinner's on the go. Tonight is burger night, and not just any burgers. These are big, fat keg burgers. And uh, I'm gonna toast up some buns. Got some onion, tomato, cheese, and uh, I'm gonna chow down on those tonight. It's funny because we kind of came up here to fish. We haven't really uh, done a lot of fishing since we got here. So anyway, we've been having fun exploring the island. Went for a little bit of a dip there earlier. And uh, we may head out for an hour tonight. We'll see how it goes. There we have it. The finished burger. Eight ounces of beef and uh, Dijon mustard, ketchup, onions, and tomatoes. I don't know how I'm going to eat this. Look at the thickness of this thing. Look at this. It's insane. Anyway, going to give it a go. How was it, buddy? That was so good. Yeah? Yeah. Is that why you're finishing mine, too? Yeah. <laughs> good work. And look at the view we got. Dinner on the lake. Beautiful. Day two, well, we pretty much spent most of the day yesterday getting set up. And I uh, just want to show you this view out here. Slept pretty good. A little bit sore today. Getting a bit old for this uh, camp and stuff. Anyway, this is uh, what I woke up to this morning. Right out there behind me. And uh, I'm going to get some coffee on here. I'm just going to show you what we do here. Owen's still sleeping, I think. And uh, I gotta get, I have to get that, where is it? I have to get that garbage bag down from the tree and all our dry food. We put it up there so the bears don't uh, get it or the uh, raccoons or whatever else might venture over here. Anyway, I'll get back to you when I get the coffee on. Most important part of the day, of course. I actually uh, ground the coffee yesterday. We came fresh, so fresh brewed coffee. Can't beat it. Breakfast time. And today on the menu, breakfast skillets. Uh, these are dehydrated um, camping food here. We're actually going to do a big cook breakfast tomorrow. I bought some eggs, bacon, tomatoes, and mushrooms and all that. But today we're doing a quickie here and uh, just uh, boiling up some water. And we're going to add that to these. We've got uh, sausage, eggs, scrambled eggs, uh, peppers, onions, and what else is in there? Eggs, sausage, potatoes, and peppers. Okay, so no onions. Okay, so we got the water in there. And... Uh, I'm going to let these hydrate now for 15 minutes and we're going to eat. There it is, ready to go. Put a little uh, Frank's hot sauce in there. And uh, what you want to do when you get these is, because all the liquid will go to the bottom, is you need to give that a really good stir. And uh, basically it's like, a, I guess, uh, a Western omelette in a bag, but with potatoes. So I'm going to mix that up and eat it. Show you a little uh, spoonful here, now it's all mixed up. So there you go. Oh yeah. And let's see what it uh, tastes like here. That's actually pretty good. What are you doing buddy? It's good, yeah. Alright. We're going to eat our breakfast. We'll see you on the water. So if you're wondering how we anchor the boat, so I got a rope going to a tree on here, 
But then I have a second anchor, a big meadow anchor, off the back here, going out this way. We've got the wind coming in here. Usually here, the wind will either come this way, this way, or this way. So we've got this tight, this one set tight, with the wind's pulling on it. And then we got the one on the shore there to stop the front end drifting around. And uh, this one here with the tension on it will keep your boat pulled out away from the island. So you can use this one to pull yourself in, jump out, let go. And then the tension on that one will pull the boat out. It's a good little tip if you're uh, camping where there's, you can see it's pretty rocky down in here and uh, a lot of boulders, that type of thing. So you want to keep the boat out away from the shoreline so you don't damage your boat. Yes, buddy. Yeah. Finally. Finally. Hang on. Let me turn this around. Oh, no. No. Yeah, we'll count it. He got it to the boat. I saw it. I know it was there. I wanted to bring it on. There's one. Good one, too, I think. Yeah. Feels heavy. Oh, he's cutting right through the weed. It's heading out like you can feel the braided line just cutting through that weed oh yeah nice one good fish buddy right off that little rock point over there they definitely seem to be relating to the uh, edge of the weeds the weeds what's happened is we had a there was an algae bloom here a few weeks ago and these guys are uh all the weeds you can see are just coated in slime so these fish are hanging out on the edges that's a smallie. Yeah, let's see if I can get him out of that weed. Again, not a giant, but definitely one of the bigger ones we've had. Definitely the got. Oh, the biggest fish so far, yeah. Actually. So, but you can see there's all kinds of, uh, you can see there's all kinds of slime on these weeds here. And there's a little rock point that comes out here and drops off. And they're sitting right on those edges there. Nice man, thanks. That's what you mean. Oh, it's a giant, buddy. It's oh, a it's a giant, so it's a giant smallmouth, buddy. Look at that. No, but look at the size of this thing, man. Look at that. Look at that. Well, hang on. If I hold him out here, does it look bigger? Yeah. There you go. Massive. Thanks, buddy. Give him a little kiss. Come on. Holy, that one on here. I just tossed this one up on that little rock drop off there between the uh, little transition between the weed and the rocks. And he nailed it as soon as it hit the water. I don't know if he saw it coming or what. I'm gonna swing him in. There we go. That's a little bit of fish. I actually just have to uh, drop Owen back to shore because he had to go to the bathroom. So um, he's probably not gonna believe me, but we do have the footage. So there we go, nice little Kawatha Smalley. Thanks, buddy. Get you back. Took that one on a little white swammer Exome bait, courtesy of my buddy uh, Blake Ranke. I got a little underspin uh, swim bait hook here, weighted, a little blade. We can see out here, but the wind is uh, really starting to pick up. 
and we just come back in for lunch. So every time I come, I always bring at least one top. I have two here, one to go over top in case it's raining, but this one here really helps. You can see the wind pushing through on here. And we're pretty exposed all throughout the campsite. Um, so I definitely, I mean, most of you guys know this, but for those of you who don't, who've never been camping, definitely bring a top with you. And what we do is tie the ropes off over here and then we have like a little washing line to dry our clothes when we go swimming and stuff too. So anyway, lunchtime. And today on the menu is vegetable tikka masala. These are ready to eat meals really cool uh, you can boil them right in the bag here and heat them up in hot water Put one of those each and then we have from the same company here uh, tandoori rice so i'm going to use those so one rice one curry each and then what i do because it's a vegetable dish i cut up some uh, roast chicken and brought it in the cooler with us and when it's all heated up i'll drop these in for a little while warm them up and then we mix that in with the uh, uh, tikka masala the vegetable tikka masala so now we're gonna have chicken vegetable tikka masala anyway that's lunch for today and uh, we'll let those heat up and then we'll eat there we go take the tandoori rice just gonna loosen it up a little bit here these little guys just tear right open so convenient tip that on there Oop. Like so, it's your tandoori rice. And we're gonna put in the heated roast chicken. I just boiled that in the same pot, just uh, in a Ziploc bag on top. And uh, put that in there. Take your vegetable tikka masala, crack that open, and just pour that right over the top there you go lunch of champions ready in just a few minutes ready to eat okay bon appetit i heated the chicken up yeah it's a uh, roast roast chicken i put it in a ziploc steamed it with the rest and the heated it in the bag yeah exactly so I'd slide some over into the other section, then you'll have more room to stir and manipulate. <laughs> Smells pretty good. All right, moment of truth. Oh, that is good. All right, that was a really bad idea. Very sharp, little, small kind of chunk sized rocks. And you can barely walk there. And I, I walked out to here and it's, it's not deep at all. And it doesn't get deep till out past that, uh, where is it? That tree over there. So we're gonna go up and probably just take a dip in the hot tub. We'll see you up there. Ah. Okay, we're back. Took a header on the rocks. Thought I broke my elbow and smashed my wrist. Watch out for green slimy rocks. Anyway, we decided uh, we're gonna go for a swim near camp. So I'm gonna get out of the way. Hang on. I can just drop right in here. Just watch where you step. These rocks are horrible. They all move too. I think getting out is going to be a lot easier than getting in. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's going to be harder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's going to be like climbing on us. It's going to be brutal. Woo! Ow! God. That was great way to remember. <laughs> oh, this is just not good. It's not like that tub, man. That was, there's what? nothing like it. Oh, I gotta, long I'm long. going out on my hands, buddy. Oh, God. Um. Okay, so, so Owen, how did this compare to the other spot? Way worse. <laughs> oh. 
people are gonna like the fire. <laughs> the bugs are getting insane here. And uh, prepped all this up earlier. Some nice uh, dry leaves in there. Some kindling. We crack this off. And she's off. Doesn't keep the bugs away completely, but it certainly helps. We went out earlier and uh, I bring a sawzall with me, so cut a bunch of wood here. It's actually a lot darker than it looks. This camera is pretty good in low light, but uh, it's literally going to be pitch black in a, in a few minutes. Good morning, welcome to day three. Uh, last night was interesting. We were sitting by the fire here and um, we heard a big crash and, and sticks breaking in the back here. And uh, whatever it was sounded, to me it didn't sound like a moose or a deer. It, was, it sounded sort of more or more of a thud and a crunch. And, um, and it, but it was big, it wasn't a raccoon or anything like that. And broke some branches and stuff back here. And then stopped. I hit the flashlight. Um, we couldn't see anything, but uh, for the first time last night, I actually fired off three of these guys here. They're uh, bear bangers, uh, 12 gauge blanks essentially, and they give off a, a big flash and a very, very loud bang. And uh, you shoot them off with this little uh, pistol here. And that's the first time I've ever had to do that where I actually felt like something was coming into camp. Um, so anyway uh it was it was all over fairly quickly but you know you can imagine the tension after the fact is it going to come back whatever but uh anyway first time i've ever fired off those things before and uh fortunately no incidents and uh, everything was fine after that but uh, did did make owen a little bit nervous um about going in his tent last night but uh we're all good nothing happened and uh we're still here so I'm going to get up now and uh, go make some coffee and then we're going to have some breakfast. Some bacon going here, got some English muffins, eggs, sliced mushrooms and uh, fried tomatoes. Something about the smell of bacon, it's like amplified 10 times when you're camping. It smells good in, uh, when you're at home but when you're camping, my god. Anyway, we've got some uh, mushrooms sautéing here. We've got some fried tomatoes, we have uh, bacon, we're going to have three eggs each, and we got some English muffins. And voila, there it is, camping breakfast of the year, the artery clogging breakfast of champions. Tastes so good when you're camping though. Alright, time to eat. Unfortunately, I learned when I returned from the trip that it wasn't just my elbow that got damaged when I took a header on the rocks in the uh, rapids during this trip. I uh, also damaged my camera quite severely, had to have the uh, audio jack and uh, some components inside changed. I guess it took a good whack when I hit the rocks. Fortunately, when we did the lock tour, I was wearing a GoPro chesty, so I have the audio from that. But if you're wondering why I'm holding a camera, it's because I don't have audio. Okay, enjoy. Okay. It's tour time. We're gonna head, uh, we're going on a hike right down the other end of the island here and uh, show you guys around a little bit. Pretty cool trail here. And once we get down near the dam over here where we swim, you can actually head off left a little bit and go on over and uh, 
that takes us over onto oh geez onto uh, the other lake down below i'm not mentioning lakes in this uh, episode because as i said um we've had a lot of a lot more people coming up north this year uh, probably because of the uh pandemic and um people aren't going away so we've had a lot of people showing up up north doing camping and that type of thing and often we've come up uh, we haven't been camping but we've seen that there's a lot of people camping on these islands this year more than i've ever seen so we're going to keep the names of the lakes and the islands quiet on this one uh, for some of my spots you can check out other videos that i have i actually uploaded one last year i'll put it up in the corner right here you can link to where we do name the lake and last night um we had uh like actually for the last three nights there's been a ton of these what look like centipedes they're probably about four inches long and uh, kind of weird looking things i'll put an image up here so you can see them if anybody knows what they're called please leave uh a comment in the description down below and let me know what they are so you can see we're just starting to come to the uh, edge of the lake down below us on the other side of the locks and uh which way we go owen this way down here. yeah i think we got to go up around here right yeah, around this one, here. oh this one okay right all right owen's the guide he knows where he's going and uh yeah it's quite a, it's a bit of a hike down from the campsite but uh hopefully it's going to be worth it pretty cool eh buddy yeah. all right so some of you are going to recognize these locks and uh say ah, i know where that is and others won't but uh we're not going to name it as i said we just there's so many people coming up here this year when we do decide to go camping we want to make sure that we have uh, a spot to go to sometimes i've got about four or five spots on the lake we're on so we sort of have a plan a to plan d and here we are guys this is it so you can see the dam going across and then over here just behind see where the yellow fence is over there that's where the locks are so it's all part of the Trent 7 waterway so a lot of people come up here touring and that type of thing I'm gonna head down over the other side here for a second oh buddy this is a good swimming spot right here you could dive right in here look at this I've got a polarized lens on the uh, GoPro so hopefully you can see it a little bit windy so hopefully you're not getting my voice isn't getting drowned out by the wind cool drops down really deep here look it's like a little hole here you could dive in here yeah. we should have come here yesterday well, at least we know about it next time we yeah when we come back we'll be swimming here we'll all right we're gonna gonna walk over to the locks now on the other side so we got to go kind of all the way through the woods here out and around and we'll go show you the locks for those who may not have seen them oh, oh right into a tree good work okay we're on the other side of the small island that leads off from the uh from the little dam where we were swimming the other day and then you've got this short dam here because it's low here leading out to the main dam here where they can control the uh the water the height of the water on the lakes there's actually another really cool little feature that these some of these locks especially these more remote ones you can see this wooden ramp here these are uh, rollers and what you do is if you want to portage okay so this is the main dam here You'll see they've got uh, these electric winches here 
over by Owen and do these massive square logs here that they drop down and what they can do is they can pull these out as they need them and uh, sorry pull them out as they need to and uh, keep the water level where they need it to be and then right over here we have the uh, the locks on the wall on this side there's a blue line that runs through so if you're waiting to go through the locks you tie up to that line they know you want to go through the lock these people have probably been tied up here all night and uh, not planning on going through so what they do the boats come in here into the lock area the gates closed they start letting water in through here brings the water level up once it's full these gates can open and the boats can go through